Greetings duelists and welcome to another video. So uh when before Dune uh started I kinda wanted to cover as many decks as possible when it came to like Dune format and one of them that I have not spoken about was Dark World. Uh as some people already know, Dark World got a new support card uh that aids their strategy in the name of Dark Corridor. So I was reluctant on talking about Dark World before uh, Dune for a couple of reasons. The main main reason is because people were unsure how effective Corridor was going to be for their main deck. They found a few design flaws with this card and the most important uh, issue was how many copies of this card were to be ran in a Dark World deck. Uh, in a Dark World strategy. Um, the second reason is because Droll is super popular in the format. Droll is pretty much like a kill switch uh, against this deck. Um, same thing as the popularity of Kashtira. Uh, like Kashtira being like one of the most uh, important decks in the format is really really problematic for Dark World because uh, the matchup is just outright horrendous and like Dimension Shifter and Arise Heart are just two really big problematic cards for that deck to be to be dealing with. Um, the third reason I didn't cover Dark World is because my so this is a pet peeve of mine when I see a deck like Dark World I want to make the deck as unique as possible and not make it super linear and I started incorporating too many different engines in there. Like right now, this is really like a really hot pile of mess. But there are some cards that kind of work with the Dark World strategy. They are kind of unique. And like not many people like think about when it comes to like the design aspect of this deck. Like for example, the Thunder Monsters are pretty cool in this deck because um, you banish for the summon of monsters using Dark World Ascension and these trigger upon being uh, banished and the Grapha Fusion only requires like a dark monster alongside Grapha so you can banish either the Dragon Dark or the Dragon Roar and they get the trigger. Uh, another reason for them is because Allure of Darkness is in the deck and that's another card that also works with them. Um, and like the labyrinth monsters are kind of cool because uh, they're fiends and the dark world labyrinth uh, the big welcome works with any level 8 or higher fiend monsters that means it works with the rainbow as well as grapha um, also bouncing your own cards uh, like is kind of cool um, so it kind of works with some cards like you ha that you have, like your dangers, for example. Um, another card uh, I guess I'm gonna talk about is Diabolica. Uh, this card also came out in Dune. It is a new card. Uh, it, this card also serves as fiend to support, um, especially for Dark World specifically, because um, what this card does is that it can summon itself if a Fiend is sent to a graveyard by a card effect, which pretty much all the Dark World monsters uh, revolve around. And it is another level 8 monster, so you can make stuff like Kosh King and like um, Zombie Stein a lot easier. Um, but yeah, um, the thing is that it's very important to talk about Dark World because I feel like this deck is two cards away from being like the most problematic deck if it goes like first. If Droll and the Kashtira monsters are not as popular in a future format, I think this deck is going to be very very scary. I think this deck is going to like take a lot of events, like it could take a lot of games like outright and if this deck ever becomes too popular it's just going to be even more problematic because the mirror match is just going to be like as atrocious 
if the player starts interacting with their cards or start doing th things with their cards as well. Um, but yeah, like... I just wanted to talk about Dark World very briefly because uh, I've been seeing a few deck lists popping around. Uh, shoutouts to Jichan and shoutouts to Ancient Persuasion. Uh, I'll post their deck profiles in the description. Um, it was seeing people like them showcasing this deck that kind of made me want to make this video because uh, even though Dark World is in a very tight spot when it comes to this upcoming format or this format that we're in right now is still a deck that can win a lot of games if it's built right and if it doesn't face those issues as often um but yeah uh i guess one other cool experiment i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go over to solo mode and i'm going to see how this pile of mess actually works uh, because when it comes to Dark World, this deck is very, very freestyle. Like, we, you don't know what cards that you're going to draw in your hands or not. And some sometimes hands are kind of a flop, sometimes they're not. Like, example, you need cards like the Dangers and Card Destruction to just make the deck work. Like, otherwise, like, you're not going to make it in, uh, very far. Um, but... Let's see how far we can get, and after that we'll end the video. So we're drawing 5 cards. Uh, card Destruction is a really, really powerful card. If that resolves, you pretty much like win. Um, 1, 2, 3. Let's grab... Let's grab Bigfoot. Um, I guess we can grab... I guess we can grab Genta and we can grab Rainbow. Um, like, this is just an example of just showing you how limitless the deck can be. Uh, granted, you don't have to play these side engines that I'm playing, you don't have to play the, 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 the Thunder Dragon cards, you don't have to play stuff like that. That's just like niche things that I'm playing. But I'm only showcasing this to show like just how far you can get with this deck if stuff like this happens. Like right now we're doing to a lure, which is kinda cool. Um let us grab we have browing hand. Let us just grab like I guess we're gonna grab Dark World Ascension. We still have Rographa into rotation. Oh, we're searching with Rainbow. Never mind. Uh, Rainbow is going to add us Graffa. Um, I guess we can. Oh, we didn't discard. Uh, we didn't banish the Genta. The Genta special summon. So that that's kind of important when it comes to Dark World. You kind of have to pay attention, like everything that you're doing, because that that can like swing so quickly and like you lose track so quickly of everything that you're doing let's just summon these let us just use these let us just grab let us summon let's see let's summon Let's summon the Malcracker. Um, the dark, the Dragon Dark triggers. The Dragon Dark will grab us something. We'll grab the Roar. We can allure the Roar away. Draw two. Banish. Roar triggers. So the Roar will summon. Let us summon like another Dark. Um, the Thunder Dragon Hawk is already engraved. Let's see what else we can do. Um, I guess we can activate a danger. If it rolls, let's use the die and roll. 
one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. We pitched Nessie itself, Sag, uh, Nessie's effect. Let's grab us like. Um, what other dangers do we have? I guess we can grab a Mothman. Um, I guess we could trigger the Bigfoot. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We missed again. That's like a three percent chance for that for that happening. Um, let's declare Mothman. The Mothman got sniped, but that one was more likely since we do have multiple Mothmans. Mothman's effect triggers the withdrawing discard. We can discard the Jackalope. Jackalope summon. Let's summon like the Nessie. Let's do Sushinoko. Surely we're not going to miss a danger a third time. One, two, three. That was close. Um, we'll special. We'll draw. Uh, forget the lightning in the background. Um, let's see. Let's do one more Mothman. Five. We pitch, summon, draw, draw from brow is mandatory. Uh, I don't recall if we normal summon this uh, this turn yet or not. Um, in the in the off chance we haven't, um, let us make sorry Yuya. So yeah, that's really cool. Now we can draw four. One, two, three, four. And we finally drew into the corridor. Um, I guess we can put back uh, the, one of the Gentas. We can put back the Eradicator. We can put back like Deck Devastation. Bottom there, bottom, bottom. Um, I, I, you kind of get the gist of it, like, we can be here all night and, like, keep comboing off with this deck. Uh, I just want to talk about Dark Worlds because uh, what the things this deck can do are almost limitless. Um, you can do FTKs with this deck, you can do hand lip loops with this deck, you can, like, there, if, I don't know if people know about the card Slash Draw. That's another old school card. That card got limited because of this deck. Um, Firewall Dragon got eratad, uh, got banned and then eratad just because of this deck. Um, so like, just be wary because um, over time people will experiment with this deck more, and if you're not ready for it. Or you just don't open the drone lockbird because that card is everywhere. Uh, you're just going to have a hard time. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to talk about Dark World. Uh, this deck is really, really cool. Uh, this deck has a lot of ways you can play it. It's not just a linear just draw into Grapha and summon deck. Um, like, out of, out of the top of my head, I can think of like plenty different ways you can play this. Like outside of what I've been doing, you can play tournaments in this. Uh, that's another example. You can play Shadows into this. You can play even Branded with this. You can even play the Chimera engine. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you found this video uh, interesting. This is less informative than other decks that I've done in the past. But however, I just kind of wanted to make a video on it because after seeing like the deck profiles and seeing people actually experiment with Dark World despite their big weaknesses, uh, I just felt like uh, it was a good amount. That it was a good time to just bring it up. Um, but yeah, that's it from me. Uh, keep practicing and keep dueling.